Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe for more videos like this. I went to TJ Maxx, I went to the Dollar Tree, and a couple other places, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I got um, from TJ Maxx and the Dollar Tree. Um, also Michaels, sorry, forgot. So let's start with TJ Maxx because I got the least amount of things from TJ Maxx. Even though it is discounted, I mean, they're still pricey, right? You like all of the stuff and then um, you wind up paying over $100 when you go. So one of the first things that I picked up was um, some skincare. And I just ran out of my Cetaphil uh, face wash. So I wanted to try out maybe a higher end um, face wash, daily cleanser, whatever. I picked up I don't know if you guys can see that. I picked up this Kate Summerfill. Um, it's called Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser. And I chose this over a lot of, sorry about that. I chose this over a lot of the other high-end brands at TJ Maxx because this said it included sulfur. This is what the bottle looks like. Never used it before, so if you guys have tried this, let me know in the comments how it worked for you. I'm going to try it, and if you guys want to, you know, if you've never used it and you want to know how it works, let me know. I can make a video on it. Um, let's see here. I also picked up this limited edition Hemp's Body Cream. It's called Cinnamon Sugar and Vanilla Butter Cream Herbal Body Butter. 100% pure natural hemp seed oil. This smells amazing. Um, yeah, I really like it. I tried only one other lotion from them before. It was the pineapple smelling one. Um, I really like the smell, but at the time I was pregnant and I was kind of freaked out about it, you know, having hemp seed oil and I just didn't know. So I gave it to my sister, but seeing this and I was like, Ooh, cinnamon sugar. Let me grab this. So I opened it up in the car and smelled it. That's how I know. It smells really good. Um, another item that I got was this Vaseline Deep Restore body cream as well. Um, this was actually on the clearance for only $2.50. And during the winter months, I get patchy and get like really dry skin, dry hands. And this is honestly some good stuff right here. So recommend that. Another item that I picked up. Sorry, guys. There's like, if you could see in this bag, we had got a couple of um, chocolates on the way out. And they have spilt in this bag. So I picked up the Laura Mercier. Um, am or yeah, It's Amber Vanilla, but it's spelled ombre vanilla or how <laughs> oh god whatever <laughs> but i've never tried this before i think this is a mini size it was recently at tj maxx for only 2.99 so i thought perfect price to try out um you know a mini of of this i because i think this is a mini oh my gosh you guys it smells so so good i'm so glad that i picked that up by the way, if you wanted to know, this was retailing at TJ Maxx for $5.99. They actually had minis of this that were $3.99. I was like, huh, let me just pay the extra couple bucks and get the bigger size. Another thing that I picked up was this Baby Lips Tinted um, Chapstick. And I don't know, you guys. I really had high hopes for this because it was in the color taupe. And I was like, okay. You know, we've seen at TJ Maxx a lot of the baby lips that were the bright colors, the red, the pink, and all of that. I was like, uh, I'm not going to get that. Um, but I was like, ooh, taupe, let me try this. But look, it literally is like the same colors on my skin. And it makes me look like I, like I have like no pigment to my lips whatsoever. So I don't know about it. It does feel really good, but I um, saw that they had the Burt's Bees um, tinted oh, chapstick. Sorry guys, mommy brain. <laughs> I didn't hardly sleep last night. My daughter was wanting to nurse like the whole night. Um, but yeah, so I saw the, um, Burt's Bees, um, tinted, I keep wanting to say moisturizer. It's chapstick. Chapstick, Shonda. Anyways. Um, but I, it was $9.99 and I was like, okay, well, the baby lips is only $2.99. Let me just get this. But no, I should have just went with the birth knees. 
stick with what you know, guys. Okay. Um, let me see. I thought I grabbed something else. Nope, I think that's it. But we picked up this candy because we were, oh my God, I didn't eat it all the whole day. I was so thirsty and hungry. And when you go through the line, they have all those snacks before you check out. And I was like, okay, let's just get some chocolate covered cashews. So we picked this up. But, it, you know, $3.99 for that. And so that is all I got from TJ Maxx. So now I'm going to show you guys what I got from Michael's. Um... I also did a walkthrough shopping video at Michael's, so if you guys want to check that out, that's probably going to be available within the next couple of days. Anywho, I picked up this little craft thing for my kids to do on Halloween night. We're going to do like a Halloween party because we're not trick-or-treating. Um, so we're going to do some crafts. We're going to eat some popcorn, some pizza, obviously candy, and we are going to... Um, watch Hocus Pocus and probably The Witches. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie, but that's like one of my favorite Halloween movies is The Witches. Okay, so we picked up this and I, I found these so, oh my gosh, you guys, these are so cute. They were $1.99 and they're little um, ornaments and they have different kinds. So this one's going to be mine, reindeer. And um, I picked Jasmine. this one up for Jasmine, my eight-month-old, by the way. Then this one's going to be Daddy's, the Santa Claus. This one is my daughter Ariana's. She likes llamas. And this one is for my son, Jaden. And then there's one more in here for my son, Tayshawn. And how cute are those, okay? I was like, oh, those are such good gifts for your mother-in-law, you know what I mean? But honestly, I might just keep them for our Christmas tree. I don't know. We'll see. Um, another, let me see. So these three things I picked up from Michael's are also crafts for my kids. They're little um, sun catchers. This one is a pumpkin. We got a witch. And we got a monster. So that's what I picked up from Michael's. And then I headed over to the Dollar Tree. You should honestly, a tip, you should never go to Michael's before you go to the Dollar Tree looking for decorations. <laughs> um, this time I really did hold out because we would have been in trouble. But I did find some good stuff at the Dollar Tree. Wound up spending, I mean, who spends 40 bucks at the Dollar Tree, right? But I homeschool and I have been homeschooling since before the pandemic. So I always like going to the Dollar Tree and seeing what kind of Christian books they have because I do try to incorporate my faith into my teaching. Um, my kids, my rules, right? Um, I found this set. I'm trying to organize these for you guys so you can see it. Um, basically, it is the Nine Fruits of the Spirit. See, but I only found eight of them. So we'll just look at the other one um, in the Bible. How cute is that? Each one, um, see this one, I'll just give you a few examples. Uh, love, gentleness, self-control, goodness. I said a few, but I'm just going to tell you them all. Joy, patience, faithfulness, and kindness. Um, anyways, these are, I thought these were really, really cool. Basically, on the inside, it it talks about um, that gift of the Spirit, right? Kindness. It talks about kindness and um, how we can show kindness to others. And then it has cute questionnaires at the end of them. And I was just like, heck yeah, okay? Um, so that's something that I got for the kids. I also wanted to make this cute um, vase for my kitchen table for Christmas. And they had all their Christmas stuff out, so I was like, let me just go ahead and get it before they don't have any more. So I picked up some white rock to go in the bottom of the vase. I also picked up, let me try to find all of the little flowers. Okay, so they had a tall vase, which I'm surprised. Look how big this is, it's perfect. Um, normally they just have the smaller vases, so I was really surprised about that. That'll definitely work perfect. 
And look at this. I picked up some really, really pretty fake flowers and just little decoration things. Um, so there's the, I got two of each. Um, so two golds, two reds, um, two of these little pine cones with like red. What are those things called? I, I can't remember right now. Put it in the comments. Um, and then I picked up two of the gold shimmer sparkles. So that's that. I also um, wanted to try out um, something that I saw on Pinterest where they put, I'm trying to get it out of the bag. <laughs> Excuse me guys, I'm new, okay? Um, yeah, so I found this at the Dollar Tree. It's rope and I saw on Pinterest that they used um, hot glue and wrapped it around the base to make it look awesomer, right? So I thought I would try that as well. Um, yeah, you just use a hot glue gun, you wrap the rope around it and farmhouse, right? So we're going to try that. And I also picked up, they didn't have very many um, Christmas uh, ribbons at the Dollar Tree, which I'm surprised about. I'm kicking myself in the butt for not getting um, the, a couple of Christmas ribbons at Michael's when I went. Um, but yeah, I got this and I felt like the burlap would go really well with the rope. So I'm just going to do the rope around the vase and then I'm going to do like a cute little um, bow ribbon with this. And um, yeah, make a little centerpiece with a vase. So we'll see how that turns out. Maybe I'll show you guys in a future video. I also, oops, I broke one. We'll have to hot glue that one. I also picked up these um, with little um, pine cones and cotton balls on there. I thought um, instead of spending, you know, $40, $60 for a really good garland this year, maybe I could just poke these on the fireplace like in between some of my candles and maybe that will um, look just as nice. We'll see. Um, yeah. And some more stuff that I found um, was Let Go and Let God, some wall sticker. Um, and then I found this one for the laundry room. Put your drawers over here, okay? I think that's what that says. Um, I found my kids a couple of them, but I already gave them to them. One of them was, um, they had Mario wall stickers, um, SpongeBob, and then I got my daughter these um, angel wings that were like pink and purple, and she could put them on the wall and then like stand in between and take a photo with it. So, guys, they had all of their Christmas ornaments out. And they are so cute this year. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. So cute. So, so cute. I only bought one because I was like, okay, it's not even close to Christmas time, Shonda. Seriously. Cut it out, right? Um, another thing that I found was for the popcorn for Halloween. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. So we're going to um, put popcorn in that and watch movies and just have a really good old time. Did you guys know that they have glue sticks, the mini glue sticks at um, the Dollar Tree? Because I did not. There's 15 of them in here. This is going to last forever. And it's glitter. So, so exciting. Uh, they they didn't have the clear. So hopefully my little project doesn't turn out crazy with little glitters in between. But whatever. It's just for me. Nobody comes over. So... Um, and let me double check that that's everything. Oh, nope. Wait, let me see. We already went over that. Yeah, so I think that's everything in this haul. No, one more thing. My favorite. I found a Halloween tumbler at Michael's and they were 40% off. So they had this one. They had a... Uh, one with uh, all black sequins. They also had one with a cat top. And then the bottom was silver sequins. Um, so yeah, this one was just my favorite one. And it turned out to be like five bucks after the 40% off. So go get you one of those. I personally love tumblers. I've got a, like a crap ton of tumblers, but you can't never have too many. Um, and that one's really cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys have tried any crafts or anything of that nature uh, with Dollar Tree stuff because I'd love to know. All right. Thanks, guys.